Earlier today, I was wondering, why would I select an AGX Motion Protect curtain instead of a regular Motion Protect? And I've managed to find some points, so this video is going to be an answer to that question. Except that we will also I review the Motion Protect curtain, intent, main functionality, uncover its specs, connect it and test it out practically. And after that, you can go to our People System store and, uh, well, get it officially with an, a worldwide delivery and a special offer if you will specify that you are subscribed to our channel. I'm Daniel, breaking in. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. The box contents is regular for Ajax, so let me get it out. Well, a cardboard wrapping with a, the exact sensor inside, just let me get it out. There we also have the external bracket, there's a quick start guide and a pack of screws and anchors to fix this thing up uh, on a wall. So, the exact device has an LED indicator on the front panel's upper in the Ajax specific shape. The main element we really care about is located on the bottom behind this uh, Fresnel lens. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Inside of this inclined cutout. And well, you know, a purpose of this design is to make you hang the sensor as high as possible uh, right below a ceiling or at a doorway top to create the appropriate angle for sensors to observe a site. Because uh, you see, this is what makes a difference between a curtain and a motion protect. So, if you angle on a curtain, right from here, makes up a six degrees, when a motion protects operating view angle is 88.5 degrees. So, well, when you install a motion protect sensor in the right spot, it is able to observe an entire room or half of it, but a motion protect cutting creates a kind of a straight and thin line coming from top to bottom. And this is where we meet a sensor's intent. And this is a perimeter protection. So the backside bracket is removed quite easy, revealing the RCQR code located in here and a power button that we'll need later to activate the device. Below them, you can see a tamper button. So yeah, the device is intended for a perimeter protection and is often installed indoors near, uh, near an entrance door. The operating principle remains the same, the same as here. The infrared sensor spots a moving object that have a temperature close to a human body heat. Although, here we have a double infrared sensor coming from here, which is reflected in here on the box. There you can see it in there and in the AJAX app on a sensor settings tab, they will find a correlation signal processing button that decreases the amount of a false alarms as it makes its sensors uh, raise the alarm only when an identical motion signal is registered by both sensors. Actually, a must-have function if you have pets and home. And also about a features and a specifications. Motion detection distance operates properly on up to 15 meters distance. The sensor is IP54 ingress protected, operates as far as 1800 meters away from an Ajax hub that checks a sensor status as frequently as every 12 to 300 seconds. Motion protect cutting is equipped with an Ajax Jeveler, Ajax unique Jeveler radio technology, and the built-in battery here will last as long as three years. You can see it here. And now the connection. So the connection of the motion protect curtain is no different from any other Ajax sensor and specifically no different from the Ajax motion protect, Combi protect, motion protect plus, and well, you got this stuff. But anyways, it requires us to have the Ajax free app. Well, that I got installed from the app store. You can get it in the Google Play app store and sign up, create user account, password, and you know how that stuff's happening. So yeah, after that is done, uh, you gotta activate your Ajax hub, yeah, because this is a, well, mandatory first thing you gotta do, like, if you're uh, working with the Ajax system. So, yeah, I got my hub here, you see it light was green, meaning it's online, so, yeah, the power is transmitted over the wires that I took from the box and the internet, too. And I got the device activated in here, and now what I do, I'll add this device right in there. So, add device, add device, uh, the lid on the back, we're uncovering it and taking a shot of the QR code located on the back. 
Name I need a curtain. There I did. <laughs> quite, quite wrong, you see. And assigning a room, which is a studio in my case. And now uh, I gotta press hold this button for like three seconds, somewhere like that, near a hop, and then release. And there we go, the curtain has been added successfully. And also, I'm not gonna show you this time uh, how to, uh, well, to demonstrate how the device is working because, well, again, the walking principle is not different from the AJX Motion Protect, Combi Protect, and the same. Yeah, because, uh, because behind the transfer lens, you got a uh, two motion protects that spots a human body heat. Yeah, because this is the uh, well operating. This is the this is how operates the motion protect sensor. Yeah, so the coating. What we really have to do, it in case yeah, you have like small animals. If you have maybe a kids, if you have a uh, dogs, pets, you gotta go in here and they will get a correlational signal processing. So uh, only, uh, I'll remind you, there's a two infrared sensors. Only if two of them spot the same identical signal, they uh, go into a trap mode. But if only a one or does it bad, no, it wouldn't. So yeah, if you have a pet, this is a must uh, to turn on option for you. So yeah, uh, also I got a, another settings in here, which is a alert with a siren, I'm in night mode, which is actually a great thing because yeah, this thing is a perimeter protection. So you can actually arm it in a night mode uh, and you can actually, you cannot actually do that with the motion protect and motion protect plus and combi protect. Yeah, of course we have the delays and we can set the sensitivity, which I'm, well, honestly, I'm always setting it to a low. Here's the signal strange test, detection zone test, and well, the other stuff. But honestly, this is like it. But let's conclude the main aspects of this. Many of you are wondering, why would you buy a curtain instead of a motion protect or a combi protect? And the answer is, depends on the install spot. It is best to have such curtain in a warehouses with a lot of moving objects in sensor sight, with a high shellings that decrease a sensor's view angle and will actually may cause a false alarms. So, so in cases of this sensor, it doesn't matter what a landscape you have in a room, his job is to protect a perimeter, that exact line that divides a room's entry and exit. And also the sensor can operate as well in a night mode, which is impossible for a motion protect and a combi protect devices. It's used well for a, for a panoramic windows, garages, and a shower rooms. So get the AJX Motion Protect curtain officially on the People's System Store website within a worldwide delivery for you. And specify you're subscribed to us to get a special offer. So thank you for watching. Your protection and your knowing if your surroundings are the main goals in People's Systems.